whenever a, a, a champion, you know, a dominant champion or an undefeated fighter or someone who hasn't lost in a long time, when they finally lose and they lose in somewhat devastating or embarrassing fashion, there's always going to be an excuse to follow that loss as to why they lost because, you know, they can't cope. They're not used to that feeling of losing. So they got to like tell themselves, this is why I've lost. We've seen this many times throughout history. And of course, it is no surprise that the bullet Valentina Shevchenko is coming out with excuses as to why she lost to Alexa Grasso. Uh, now, she did an interview yesterday with Ariel Helwani. I watched half of it. I didn't bother listening to the whole thing because it's like, I don't know, English isn't really Valentina's first language. And, you know, a lot of what she says can be a little bit difficult to comprehend. And I just didn't want to bother sitting through all her excuses and discrediting Alexa Grasso. I wasn't for that. But one key reason as to why she thinks that she lost the fight to Alexa is none other than Jason Herzog, the referee himself. So apparently he had bearings on the outcome. Now, I'm not going to bother reading everything Shevchenko has said, um, because again, a lot of what she says, it can be a little bit difficult to understand um, the way she words things. So I'm just not going to bother reading the article about it, but I can summarize basically everything she said in that interview or in that one statement about Herzog. So Valentina Shevchenko basically believes that Herzog has something against her because he's refed her last two fights, you know? He refed her against Tala Santos um, and against Alexa Grasso. And basically, there was a moment against Santos where she kicked her in the head and sensed a, a potential finish and for whatever reason, Herzog paused the action. In that moment, uh, and she believes because of that, she was robbed of a, of a finish over Tala Santos. Now, yeah, that does seem like a bit of a shady moment there, but Tala Santos already had a busted up eye from the headbutt Valentina. So that's literally the only reason why she got hurt by the head kick. So maybe the ref, you know, maybe the ref robbed you out of getting a TKO from cheating previously. I don't know, but she blames the referee for losing to Alexa because remember round three when, uh, you know, when uh, Valentina held her down in the full guard and was kind of landing some pitter patter shots and then Herzog stood them up. So, yeah, uh, basically, she believes because of that moment, that's Jason's fault that she ended up losing the fight, you know, because he has something against her and because he stood them up when he shouldn't have. And apparently, a lot of people seem to get behind this. A lot of people seem to believe that had the ref not intervened, she would have won the fight. She would have finished Alexa Grasso. Okay, well, let me tell you something. In that round, she was landing... Okay, she was getting active. I get it. She started landing some, you know, pitter-patter shots to the body of Alexa Grasso. But Alexa was controlling the posture, so she was safe of any kind of severe damage to the head. Just taking some minor shots to the body the only reason why valentina got off that one big shot at the end is because alexa grasso started relaxing let go of the posture once the ref signaled them to break up so she stopped defending herself and then got hit by that one shot but it's not like valentina was on track to uh, finish on the ground or anything and then besides when they got back up valentina shevchenko took her down again with ease and got her back down in an even better position. She got her back down like, like she had her back. She had her back in that moment, the same position Alexa had her in, and she failed to finish um, uh, Alexa Grasso in an even better position than the full guard. So why did that have any bearings on the outcome? That's what I want to know for anyone who believes that, or even for Valentina who believes that. Because again, it doesn't matter. She took her down again and had a more dominant position. So even if Herzog didn't even stand them up, what difference would that have made if Jason Herzog didn't stand them up? What would have happened is um, Valentina would have stayed in Alexa's full guard. Um, Alexa would have controlled the posture and Valentina would have just laid and prayed until the next round. Alexa would have survived into round four and still would have gotten the fourth round finish. Nothing would have changed. Okay, it has nothing to do with Herzog. The reason why, Valentina, you got choked the fuck out by Alexa Grasso 
is because of Alexa Grasso and because of her preparation. Because she knows you always like to go for them spinning back kicks. And she was just waiting for you to throw it out of turn so she could time you, take your back, and then end you from there. She caught you throwing that kick as she was closing the distance, which that was ill-advised. Like, why would you throw that kick when someone's closing the distance on you and you don't have any space to land it clean? You know, ill-advised. But yeah, that's the reason why, Valentina, you lost. Because you made a mistake, yes, with that kick. But because Alexa Grasso, she prepared for that. And she timed that, okay? Like, Herzog did nothing wrong there. Honestly, kudos to Jason Herzog because no one wanted to see Valentina being boring, okay? She was doing no damage. And yeah, his timing was a bit off, but he was already getting ready to break them up before Valentina was laying those shots to the body. And he just went through with his actions because it's like, whatever, just stand up. So, yeah, definitely not Herzog's fault. Shevchenko just can't cope. Valentina Shevchenko is just flat out delusional. And this is why she'll never beat Alexa Grasso. Because if she cannot address the problem, that is why she lost the fight. Then how is she going to win? But then again, I said the same thing about Wei Li. She almost beat Rose in the rematch. I said the same thing about Amanda Nunes. And she beat Juliana Pena in the rematch. So I got to be careful with what I say. Because sometimes these fighters, they may seem delusional. And that's how they handle the loss, then they can surprise me. So I can't say for sure, but all I can all I can say for certain is that it ain't Herzog's fault. Herzog did the right thing. In my opinion, he didn't make a bad call. And even if he did make a bad call, it, it would it did not have an impact on the outcome. There was gonna be no finish in that third round. She would have just held Alexa down until the bell rung, and then the next round would have started on the feet. And we would have saw the same sequence where Alexa Grasso got the finish. That's all there is to it. But shout out to Jason Herzog, though. He is the man. He knew it was up in the Tyler Santos fight. Because again, uh, Tyler Santos, I mean, the head, the eye isn't the only reason why she got rocked. That was, a good, that was a good kick. But that was the only reason why she couldn't defend it or stay out of danger. Why she couldn't see the kick coming. Hence why it had the effect it did because of a previous headbutt, you know? And you know that saying, cheaters never win. I mean, they do win sometimes, but you know, that was a bit of karma on Shevchenko's part. So good job, Herzog, you the man for that. She didn't deserve to knock out Santos after what she did. She should have lost that fight anyway. And I'm glad she lost to Alexa Grasso and Alexa was able to finish the job. I'm glad he stood them up in that third round because, again, no one wanted to see none of that lay and pray action. So good job, Herzog. You did your job. Anyone who hates on him, you're just dumb. But yeah, like I said, he is the man. I hope he reps, I hope he reps that rematch too. But uh, anyway, uh, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.